All right. Hello, 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 my beautiful lovelies. Welcome back to my Vibe Lit Abundant YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, hello, hi, how are you? My name is Shanetta from goldenlineage.com. And over here on this Vibe Lit Abundant YouTube channel, I love to make in depth tarot pick a cards timeless collective readings just like this one and other spiritual related videos all right so if that is something that interests you you would like to continue seeing me and my energy definitely be sure to subscribe all right join this beautiful lit growing family and while you are subscribing be sure to ring that post bell notification bell down below so you stay updated and you do not miss out when homegirl when sister posts future videos like so you already mother freaking know let's get it let's go period all right family so welcome back to the channel i felt extremely 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 called to come on here today is november 11th so it's like the 11 11 portal type stuff right and I just wanted to drop a, a collective reading. So I've, I've called in my spiritual team. I've set the intentions for this reading. And basically, you know, whoever is clicking on this video, there's a message here for you. You've clicked on this video for a reason, right? Spirit wants to communicate something to you. I don't know what needs to be heard, what needs to be said, what needs to be brought to light, but we're going to get into it. All right. So spirit, the collective, all right, what messages need to be heard what needs to be honored what needs to be brought to light okay what exactly all right all right what messages all right what is the overall energy at this time what messages need to be heard what needs to be honored what needs to be brought to light for the collective journey to recovery Okay. Unknown mystery in the reverse position for the collective watching this video. Guardian angel of protection. Strong foundation and roots. Stagnation daydreaming in the reverse position. Running against destiny's time. So this is a message from your guardian angels. There could be a feminine. Okay, so this is very clear. This is a feminine guardian angel of yours. Okay, uh, you know, this could be an actual guardian angel that you, um, you know, you pray to, you work with, whether it's Archangel Gabriel the other, you know, feminine archangels, whoever. This could also be a spirit guide of yours that is a feminine, uh, you know, a female spirit guide. This could even be an ancestor, a passed away loved one that was a mother, okay? Maybe your mother, grandmother, auntie, you know, but the energy is, this is mother guidance coming into you, for you. So the message that needs to be heard they're saying your spiritual team, this, this mother-like energy that is around you as you're watching this video, running against destiny's time. And I just filmed a twin flame energy check-in, a reading for the people that are on their twin flame journey. And they, you know, and this same card came out and the message was, listen, okay. Okay. Listen to this. What is meant for you will be. If something is meant for you, if you are meant to be doing something in this lifetime, if you are meant to be with someone in this lifetime, right? It's going to happen. Because what does this card say here? This card says running against destiny's time. And so with this energy, it's like, Right now, you know, possibly you could be focusing on something or someone or a situation that is actually, you know, not meant to be in the finale, you know, in the, the ending picture of a situation. 
but that's okay. You know, I'm seeing in my third eye the tower card, the tower tarot card in the reverse position, holding on to something for dear life that spirit, the universe, your spiritual team is trying so hard to take away from you. You think that this is what you need. You think that this is the best thing for you because you're not fully able to see what is really meant to be for you. You know, let's say, for example, you're holding on to a particular job you've been working out for some years now and out of a scarcity mindset, you're like, well, I don't want to leave this job. It's not the greatest. You know, my boss doesn't treat me right. They don't respect anything that I ask for. They overstep my boundaries, but I'm going to stick beside the job because it's been paying the bills. It's been consistent and I'm scared of change. Tower card in reverse. Spirit's like, if you would just release your grip off of this this crazy long overdue it's time job and let me work my magic you will see that there's something even bigger and better that is going to cross your path right this could be about love this could be about you know a living situation this could be about work this could be about anything in your life but the the overall message so take it how it fits you're running against destiny's time. The more that you ignore these repetitive signs that something or someone isn't for you, the more painful and difficult things are going to be in your reality. Spirit wants you to know whether you realize it or not, you have divine energy that's posted up around you. You have a spirit guide, a guardian angel, an ancestor that does not play about you, that has so much unconditional mother energy, motherly love for you. She's saying no matter how many times you've ignored the signs, you've prayed and you've asked, you've asked spirit to reveal to you who doesn't need to be around you. And then they showed their ass and they showed their true colors and you took them back. No matter how much that you're ignoring her help or her signs and her message, she'll still be there for you. She'll always be there with you. So you feel lost right now. You feel stagnant. You feel stuck. She's giving a message, you know, from this moment forward, 11-11, affirm to yourself, Put your hands up in the air, shrug them shoulders and say, you know what? At this point, I'm relaxing because what is meant for me will be and what is not will not. And it's as simple as that. There's no more forcing anything. There's no more forcing individuals to treat you right or to step up to the plate or to do this or to do that. It's either you get with it or you get lost, right? This this energy that's coming through, communicating this important message to you, you need to start walking in the vibration of that. You know, you know, you know, view view things, view yourself. You know, like you are very special. You are, you know, a privilege to people that have access to you. And if people cannot do right by you whether it's bosses, coworkers, the whole damn company that you work for, whether it's love, whether it's family, if they cannot respect your boundaries and if they cannot, you know, get with the program, then they will lose the privilege to have access to you. I'm basically getting a message like, you know, you need to, rem you need to remind yourself and remember, excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> my nose is getting a little stuffy. I'm getting over a cold, but you need to remember that you are very special. You are the daughter of who, right? She say that your parents, you know, both your parents, one of your parents, they're very special, very strong. Your family lineage, very strong. So if you've been praying for something, praying for somebody to get right, praying for this relationship to be fixed and you keep feeling like it's just not... It's because, you know, it served its purpose, but your destiny has something bigger and better 
you know, for you. I'm also getting a message that this guardian angel of yours just wants to remind you that you are on the journey to recovery, recovering your health, your physical health, your mental health, healing your heart emotionally. So we have divine awakening. So I definitely feel like your spiritual team has been sending you a lot of spiritual knowledge, symbols, synchronicities. You guys could be very drawn to Egypt culture at this time or the Ankh, okay? Just heard Ma'at, okay, that's for some of you. But some of you are ignoring signs. There's like signs and synchronicities <laughs> right in front of your face and you're not getting it. There's a lot of activity going on around you in the spirit realm. For some of you, I feel like you guys are like meeting up with people in the spirit realm, you know, connecting with people from your past in the spirit realm. And this is your confirmation. But the biggest message for you, you're lacking self-love, self-respect. To be real with you, she's saying step back into your power. At some point, you have let someone or something make you forget who the hell you are. And this is a message all out of love. Like girl, boy, whoever's watching this, if you don't go look at yourself in the mirror, fix up your hair, wipe the crust out of your eyes, you know, and just love on yourself and affirm to yourself. Yeah. I may have been through a little, you know, gone through a little bit of a, um, a setback or a few setbacks, made some mistakes, did some stuff that I'm not happy with. But hey, that doesn't take away from how special that I am. Step into your power. Doing more things, you know, to love on yourself, doing more things that will make you feel good about yourself, about your body, about your self-esteem. Some of you guys watching this, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and cleanse your energy. Whether you use incense, whether you use sound, a spiritual bath, all right? Because what's happening at this time, I feel like there was some sort of loss. You know, you may have took a loss recently, an ending, or this was, you know, maybe distant in the past, but it brought out a lot of inner demons inside of you. It brought out, you know, your dark night of the soul, you going through this period of darkness, you know, stepping into that energy. It's definitely an initiation on your spiritual path. So don't feel like you have to, you know, so for example, I'm seeing a clear energy of like, say that you were like super focused on your spiritual path, on your spiritual journey. And then something happened along the path that triggered, you know, a deep, emotional healing. Like you were, you were on your stuff. You were consistent. You were doing this, you were doing that. And then boop, a heartbreak happened or boop, a tower moment happened that caught you off guard. And then you, you forgot, you forgot, you know, a few things about yourself, about your purpose, but you watching this here now, it's time to tap back in. I'm here and it's time to turn it back the fuck up. <laughs> it's time to turn it the fuck up. All right. And so a lot of you guys watching this, um, at this time collective, excuse my nose, you're going through a rebirth. So I'm hearing like, you know, Tantra, you know, you know, sensual moving, you know, yoga, like loving on your body, expressing and embracing your sexuality, yoni magic, you know, connecting with, you know, like that, that energy to, oh, you know, 1111 portal. If you don't, you know, use that big O to manifest, <laughs> you know, strong foundations, strong roots, success, abundance, you know, the big O. All right. For those of you that know, you know, and if you don't know now, you know, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, so we have, yeah, that's what I see this beautiful white rose. And then we have this, you know, this, so it's like uh, you were very pure love and light and, you know, just super in that energy. And then something happened that tainted you a little bit, but 
don't let that situation, you know, keep you from your divine purity and your divine innocence here. I'm also seeing, you know, a lot of you guys are coming out of your dark night of the soul. Congratulations. You made it out alive. Shout out to you. All right. So we're going to wind down this collective reading here. She wants to stay. Look, <laughs> she wants to stay. There is, and you know, for those of you that have been like, well, you know, why is everything around me so crappy? You know, if I have spirit guides, if I have angels, then why is everything just not working out? Sometimes the things that aren't working out are actually serving you in, in powerful, beautiful ways that you don't even realize type stuff. So final messages, there's some resistance. So ask yourself in where and in what ways have I been resisting change? All right. For the collective spirit. What's going on with the collective? Yeah. So we have blessings in the reverse position. Look how beautiful this woman is. And this is unaware. So, because this came in the reverse, but we're going to flip her up, right? Because she is so stunning. Your guardian angel that's around you is saying that you're actually unaware that a lot that's happening in your life is a blessing in disguise. You might not fully realize it right now. But there's blessings still around you. So this is the day to get that gratitude journal out. Relationship. So a lot of you guys could be going through relationship changes. Okay. Distant, connected. Some of you guys are praying. I'm getting you're praying for a genuine, powerful connection with somebody where you guys just mesh together. And when you guys come together, it sparks, it's powerful, it's it's magical. We have inner child in the reverse position, careless, okay? Careless. So in what ways, and we're going to end this reading here on this note, in what ways are you ignoring your inner child? In what ways are you not listening to that little girl inside of you, to that little boy inside of you? In what ways are you brushing off your inner child? Your inner child has always looked at love and romance, like the Disney, the Disney stories, you know, the happily ever after, the prince and saves the princess, true love, genuine true love. And now that you're an adult, you know, you've let certain past heartaches or injustice steer you from believing in true love, right? Just a just a little example. You're depriving your inner child. Your inner child inside of you says, "Don't give up. He's out there. He's out there." And you're just like, "No, he's not. You do you not understand. These niggas don't care about you. These niggas don't love you." And your inner child is like, "Stop it. Stop it. That's not true." Y'all, this just got deep. <laughs> and so Ending this reading, go nurture your inner child. Go do something to, to put a smile on your inner child's face. Look at this card. Look. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and so let's go ahead. Let's, let's just go ahead, okay? Look at this. You need a hug. Your inner child is craving physical touch, physical intimacy, to be held, to be loved, to be adorned, to be appreciated. Oh, so poetic. Oh, it just got sappy. <laughs> so go get a hug. Like hug your best friend, hug your mother, hug somebody, period. Okay, embrace the love, embrace the love because overall, genuine, 
reciprocal love energy is going to find you, okay? And that is what this guardian angel that protects you wants to say. All right, family, that was deep. It's <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, I mean, there was hella rose quartz on the table, so we can't deny it. Like, come through. Um, but that was the reading. That is what wanted to come through today. So I'm just like smiling really hard right now because that was actually really beautiful. Um, anyways. Anywho, um, if you want to share how this resonated down below in the comments, please like, let's chat. Cause that was really deep, but that was really beautiful. It was just poetic about it. Like the, uh, okay. So, um, be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up because it lets me know that you guys want to see more like so, and I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I love you guys so motherfucking much. Peace.